Hi there, welcome to my channel, Any Occasion. My name is Rob. In this channel, we'll be reviewing non-alcoholic beverages to help you while you explore the space. And in today's episode, we're gonna look at Three Spirit, uh, their Dream Maker. Um, now, this is a special episode. This is my 50th episode. Um, so I'm gonna review my favorite uh, non-alcoholic beverage, period. Um, and that's this one. So, a uh, couple things to note. First, this is part of, if you've watched my episode one intro video, this is part of the social elixir category where this drink is not designed to mimic any existing liquor, but it's its own uh, creation. So, and the second, uh, Three Spirit, their lineup, they've got three um, primary drinks in their lineup, plus they have a couple of alt wines, um, which we'll take a look at in another episode. But it's important to understand that um, their lineup because they've designed them to kind of take you through a night with their live in our product, their social elixir, and the dream maker. Uh, of course, live is going to start your night. Um, we'll go over that in a, in a different episode. The social elixir um, kind of helps boost the mood and amplify a little social experience um, with the drink. So we'll look at that in a different episode. But this is my favorite. This is supposed to be the nightcap, the wind down. Um, I was a whiskey drinker and a whiskey neat. Uh, I've been searching for something to drink neat. Uh, ever since I, I began my uh, sobriety journey about a little, you know, a year and a quarter ago. This is the only one thing that I'll really drink neat. This is the only thing that I enjoy neat um, because uh, just because of the nature of it, the flavors, the smells, the aromas, and the viscosity. It's, it's just really nice. So Dream Maker comes at, at 30 calories per serving. Um, really nice bottle. It looks great on a, on a bar cart. Um, and you can see it says calm, woody, mellow, and non-alcoholic, which is pretty accurate. Um, I'll read through these ingredients, but um, water, Canadian maple syrup, um, melon whole hops, botanical extracts of lemon balm, turmeric root, ashwagandha root, white willow bark, vanilla, orchid, valerian root, licorice root, and ginger. Um, along with some other uh, natural flavors, lactic acid, tannin infusion, potassium sorbate, and vitamin C. Um, anyway, this is a really good drink. So um, it says shake because there might be some sediment in here. Again, these are designed to um, alter your mood in, in some sort of way. Um, so let's pour out a little bit and walk you through it. So right there, it looks nice in a glass and that's part of the experience. Looks pretty nice in the glass itself. Um, oh my God, it smells so good. Um, you can smell the uh, uh, lemon, it's lemon first, kind of lemon in the, in the syrup, just right on the nose. It's really, really pleasant. Woods, woody is a good way. I mean, that's a pretty accurate description. Um, so there's a couple ways I like to drink this. Um, and, but we'll take a sip just um, straight up. And uh, they suggest to pour it over ice, and I've done that. I've had it over a nice, you know, like whiskey ice cube ball. Um, very enjoyable. Um, it's just so good. I haven't had a non alcoholic drink this good ever, um, in my opinion. Oh. It's got a nice little burn, right? The ginger, it's not too much and it's not too artificial um, because it's not. Uh, it's just a really nice kind of mellow burn. You could taste that lemon, kind of lemon balm, a little bit of the syrup, maybe the viscosity comes from that um, and some of the other uh, ingredients in it. But it's just really nice. It's really nice to sit down with friends or by the fire or something and just kind of have, have this going. I, uh, I, I, it's my favorite. Um, this is a five. If I, I would give it a six out of five. Um, it's just if you're, if, let me end on this. If you are a whiskey drinker um, and you liked whiskey neat, you can get the same experience with a different drink. It's not, it doesn't taste like whiskey at all. Um, it's really, really enjoyable. So um, this is a fantastic, uh, you know, bourbon neat alternative. It's a different drink, but again, it's just as enjoyable for the experience. I like to put a few dashes of uh, bitters in it. Personally, it adds to it. One, two, three, four, five. 
they say to put five on, on in their little handout they give you. Um, and I did that. I'll stick with it. And I mean, it, now this adds that like obviously bitter is aromatic smell to it. Um, it just adds that like it's a really nice addition. This kind of like bitter compliment in there. So that's how I like to drink it personally. And again, it's got a nice color. This might be a little bit more red than how it comes out because uh, I only had a little bit in the glass to begin with when I put this, the bitters in here. But um, this is it. This is my 50th episode. This is a milestone for me. I wanted to do my favorite um, non-alcoholic drink um, to date. This is the most enjoyable to me personally. So. Guys, if, if you if this sounds like it's up your alley, go try it. Um, my wife loves it. She just drinks it, you know, neat from the bottle. And, um, you know, it's really nice to be able to enjoy, like pour out the same drink for both of us. Um, but we both, this is our go-to. So anyway, uh, hopefully this is helpful. I have plenty of other episodes out there. Go check them out. Um, but otherwise, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time.